Well, I'm glad to join the leadership team and join you all today for the stakeout. Um, I want to speak for a few moments about what Senator Capito was also talking about, and that's what's going on in the southern border. Now, why would a senator from Montana, when you talk about being a border state, we're a border state with Canada, but Montana is a northern border state with a southern border crisis. It is fentanyl. It is fentanyl is destroying our communities and creating lawlessness and record levels of crime and record levels of death in Montana. And this fentanyl is coming directly from the Mexican cartels. Sadly, the Biden administration is not doing anything to control the southern border. It is a solvable problem, as Senator Thune laid out, the, the pieces of what we need to do going forward. But the reality is, if we look in Montana, our fentanyl deaths last year were up 1,100 percent versus 2017. It's the leading cause of death for young people in our country. You look at seizures, seizures of fentanyl by our law enforcement in Montana. More fentanyl was seized by law enforcement in Montana in the first three quarters of 2022. We're still waiting for the fourth quarter report than the prior four years combined. And lastly, when you take a look at who we saw come across the southern border that we know of in December at our all-time record level, up 40 percent year over year, there were 17 names that popped on the terror watch list. So the southern border is a humanitarian crisis. It's also a, it's a crime crisis and it's a deadly crisis affecting states like Montana.